Let's use LogSeq and GPT-3 today to create a plan for peer-to-peer -peer review on our distributed, decentralized, autonomous teams at work. One additional tool we'll be using in this demonstration is a tool called Read from Readwise. It was in Read that I was reading an article that gave me the idea for leveraging AI to create a plan around a decentralized team. And you can see here that I have a highlight uh, in the article. This article is from Corporate Rebels. Uh, here, that they may belong to more than one team, but they're expected to contribute to at least 80% of any one team. That's what got me thinking about this. And then a little bit of analysis got me wondering, well, how would they keep tabs on each other? Here, what you're going to see is uh, the setup of the note. So I'm in LogSeq, just the regular day-to-day uh, -day timeline, and I'm going to start the process by copying in the quote that I highlighted in read. Here that comes. And at this point now, we're going to start to expand on this. We're going to use this as context. You'll see me label it T, and I'm going to reference that using my prompt for GPT-3. Now, there's a bunch of interesting little things that are going on here. So I'm saying for T, give me an example, right? Or, well, give me two examples in this case of methods. <laughs> Yeah, so give me two examples of methods to track contribution of team members in a decentralized and autonomous team. Two important points. One, I'm labeling my inputs so that I can reference them easier to the AI. Two, you'll notice that when I type slash GPT, I chose block. That is going to be required for this entire demo because we're just going to keep expanding and expanding on what we get using our own thoughts intermingled with the thoughts of the AI. This is what gives you kind of that AI superpower, to quote Kai-Fu Lee, that, uh, that we all want. Uh, and it's the reason we're all so excited and interested in these technologies. So here you can see that the AI has returned back to me two ideas, automated time tracking and performance reviews. Now I would like to look at that in a little bit more depth. So I'm going to copy out part of this and I'm going to label it the plan. And now I'm going to prompt the AI using the plan as kind of a prompt injection or in, um, kind of just pre-feeding the AI some information. And then I'm going to reference it for the plan listed. That is me telling the AI in the context of this plan, give me a step-by-step -step of how to do this. And again, you'll see me reference the GPT plugin of LogSeq at the block level. Great. Now we have a five-step plan, uh, and I'm going to take a quick look, read through, see if I like this plan, and then figure out what types of things I might want to change about this plan. Immediately, I realized I do not want to be... <laughs> Uh, directing the team to have a bunch of meetings in order to keep tabs on each other uh, for their performance over time. So I'm going to ask the AI, and I'm going to use this entire piece of feedback that the AI gave me uh, to try again to tell me how could I do this with no meetings. Uh, my team actually implemented a technique very similar to what you're going to see here uh, at OpenEXO. What's happening now is we're taking what the AI has given us and we're asking it to modify its results. We're just doing all of this right inside LogSeq. I know ChatGPT is all the rage, but it is actually far less powerful in certain ways than using these types of tools. So now we've got our various steps and we're going to keep going. Okay, so you can see here, I've gone ahead and I've grabbed part of step five. I've turned it into text. I just give it the label T and I say for context T, what other methods might be useful for follow-ups and keeping tabs on team members? I want some ideas. block and now it's going to help us expand on item number five. So it's making the suggestions that rather than using email or meetings as we started that we pick up a tool like Slack or Microsoft Teams um, it is making the uh, incorrect reference that we might should use video conferencing. Obviously I've said we don't want to do that so I'll just ignore that. But now what we have is a reasonably well-planned starting point for the implementation of peer-to-peer -peer review inside a distributed team. 